We made our way out to a little dive site called Stringer, but on the way out we spotted these humpback whales off Jessa Point. These animals go up into the warm Mozambique channel where they'll drop their calves in the warm waters there and then return down, usually in quite a hurry, to head back to the nutrient-rich Antarctic frigid waters. Decided to continue with our plan for the day and we headed to Stringer Reef. The northeaster has been blowing really hard for the last two days and visibility was down all over Sudwana Bay. We dropped down onto the northern section where we have dived before and there was this large potato bass that was just sitting over the sand. There are about two or three of these individual animals here on Stringer and they will usually accompany you for most of the dive. This moray eel had found himself a nice little hole where he was taking protection from the surge. These are round ribbon tail rays. You don't often see them hanging in the midwater and usually find them lying under ledges or on the sand. At first I only noticed one of these animals, but upon closer inspection I did see that there were two or three actually hanging over the reef itself. Uh, you can see at this stage the visibility is dropping very quickly and over the period of maybe 15 minutes it went from possibly 6-7 meters down to 2 meters. because of the strong currents that push over this particular area that you find all these big congregations of fish. Not only the game fish, but a lot of the fish that live on the reefs. Just glancing up, you can just see the amounts of fish that hang on this particular ledge. Lots of schooling snappers, lots of surgeon fish. And what makes this place really nice is that it's not a, just a sheer drop, there's some really nice topography. And the main shark species that we saw today were firstly the white tip reef shark and the grey reef shark, which is a slightly more robust shark. And once we move back up and over the top, quite often you find these little white tip reef sharks just resting up in the current. Obviously they still need to pump a lot of water over their gills to stay alive. On the top as well, there's some very nice topography again. Big high coral bombies that we're pushing up. And above this was big schools of these juvenile chevron barracuda, and they'll get up to about 14, 15 kgs when they're fully grown. Some of the other game fish were these big eye kingfish. Also will get up to about six or seven kgs when they're fully grown. And then coming up was just probably the best part of the dive. It's just a huge school of black snappers just hanging below the surface. Beautiful six and a half meter whale shark just came floating past me. 
swimming behind this massive paddle of a tail, about three and a half, four meters high. And I guess such a big creature needs a big, powerful means of propulsion. The signature white dots just above the pectoral fin being the identifying feature of individual whale sharks. And this one actually had a little kinked over dorsal fin, which is another telltale identifying feature. And this was the first whale shark of our season. And I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of these beautiful big fish along the Sudwana coastline in the next couple of weeks.